Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aries. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my guardian angel messages tarot. And to clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdoms tarot deck. I welcome you all, darlings. For everyone who stops by, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, babies? So let's see, Aries, what message or messages we have for you. Let's do this here. So Aries, this is for you. We got the moon, revelation, secrets were revealed, or did you start using your intuition? The Empress, abundance or fertility? We have the eight of earth, ooh, paying attention to things, or maybe you're learning something new, past energy. We got the knight of fire, you're very confident, you're passionate about something. We got the king of earth here. It could be an earth energy, a uh, Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. We got the king of fire. I would say that's you, Aries. We got the knight of earth. Very organized, responsible, slow and steady. You got a routine down. You're paying attention to the details. You got the two of cups, whatever it is. It's something mutual. And you get the High Priestess. Start using your intuition. So let's see. We're going to clarify the Aries. <clears throat> All right, so on top of the moon, we have we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Seven of Wands. The Queen of Cups, maybe some secrets were revealed in regards to a water energy, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio here. It seemed like you lost your peace of mind for a moment, or maybe there was some kind of betrayal going on. Whatever it was, you started standing up for yourself and you started overcoming so many things. You were happy that you got to know whatever this was. You got the Queen of Cups. Now, it could be it made you very emotional as well. You got the Seven of Swords, which is some type of betrayal. And you got the Seven of Wands, which is about you being above your challenges no matter what is going on. We got the Empress, we got the Two of Cups on top of the Empress, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, it seems like there might have been some forgiveness, you know, you might have some little conflict going on within, but it, this energy it seems like a real mutual, you know, a bond, you know, like a really good bond, you know. There might be something going on, but there is a lot of love there with you and and that and and you and that energy i'm not sure which energy it was it seems like the queen of water stole your peace of mind now you got an earth energy here so we're gonna keep going okay 
So you got the two of cups, you got the five of wands, which is about conflict, but then you got the ten of pentacles, which is about abundance, you know? I mean, happiness, enough to take care of you and your family. There's so much around you. So you have the two of cups, the five of wands, and the ten of pentacles on top of the empress. Then you have the eight of earth. <clears throat> On top of the Eight of Earth, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the World. So whatever it was that you were studying or paying attention to, um, might have had something to do with the family here. But it seems like there's a lot of stability. You know, mind you, this is past energy. And it seems like things were very successful with this um, connection. I don't know what connection it is as yet, but we're going to keep going. We got the Ten of Cups, which is about happy family. We got the Four of Pentacles, which is about stability, um, using your resources wisely, and the world. Successful accomplishments, successful family, happy family. Then we have the Knight of Fire. And top of the night of fire now, the night of fire is about passion and confidence and, you know, being impulsive. And you don't want to be impulsive, okay? <clears throat> this energy is going to give you a little kind of stuck energy. You're going to feel kind of um, like a standstill, like you don't know what to do. So there's something that's going to be coming in. It might be coming in pretty fast, passionately, okay? Um, we got the awakening card. Um... The awakening card is the equivalent to the hangman, and that's like a pause, a standstill, nothing is moving, but it's temporary. And it has to do with something that's coming in. Yes, indeed, and something is coming in. We got the Knight of Cups. We got the Knight of Fire here. The Knight of Fire is about passion, all right? We got the Knight of Cups, which is about romance. But this, whatever is coming in, is going to bring some chaos and confusion in, okay? We got a transformation moment here. It's going to be an experience, all right? It's going to shake you up a little bit. But it's nothing that you can't come overcome, okay? Releasing the old for the new. You have the Awakening card. You have the Knight of Cups. And you have the Transformation card. <clears throat> now, the Transformation card is like the Tower card. You know, things sometimes break down and cause a lot of chaos and confusion. But then they straighten back up. Now, it could be this chaos and confusion being caused in regards to this earth energy. Because there's a very stable energy here. A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And we got the Six of Swords. We have the Star. And we have the Five of Cups. Now, the Six of Swords tells me that whatever took place here, whatever chaos and confusion started, things started calming down. Relief is in sight, okay? We got the star card. Definitely keep the faith and the hope alive. Don't you give up. You hear me, babies? Don't give up. Don't give up. Sometimes we give up and we're almost there. So we can't do that to ourselves, okay? We have to love ourselves enough to keep going. But then we got the five of cups. And the five of cups is telling me that you still, you know, there might have been relief and there might have been some forgiveness here and good things happening right now. But you're still kind of, you know, holding on to what happened. You're still feeling it, you know. You're, you're feeling it from the past, that, that energy. So you're focusing on the negative aspect of it. Now, if you forgive someone... Forgiveness is all around, okay? Release it. Because when you hold on to it, it just weighs you down even more. All right? Now, if whatever is taking place here is something that that is constantly happening, then you might want to rethink the situation. You might want to um, see, look, I mean, what is it that I am doing? Because if this scenario keeps replaying over and over in the sense of happening actually happening in your life all the time then it's time to look within and look at you okay and do it with love but you got the because you're the common denominator you get it okay so we got the six of swords six of swords is about things calming down we got the star card the star card is about you keeping your eye on the prize and not do not give up you hear and then you got the Five of Cups still upside down in regards to the past, whatever took place there, you know. Maybe it's still new. So process the emotions. You know, process the emotions. Don't even think you can just throw them away. You have to look at them. And then on top of you, the King of Fire, 
<coughs> we got the we got the eight of swords we have the nine of pentacles and we have the magician now with me the eight of swords okay the eight of swords is like a situation you got yourself tied up into right so in this particular deck i like to say whatever situation you thought you had yourself tied up into you can tie yourself or you're about to untie yourself okay it's up to you only you can do it we play a very important role in our lives okay we do all right so you got the eight of swords here and you see how in this picture she's like taking off the blindfold so you're starting to see things for what they are and then we got the nine of pentacles here which is about you reaping the rewards of your, of, of your hard work you know and then the magician i say you magical you're gonna overcome things you hear you gotta believe in you, you believe in you and you will see magic happen you have all the resources you need to accomplish anything you desire you have the eight of swords part of life life has, comes with ups and downs a lot of these ups and downs we put ourselves in you know but we just let 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 the moment happen but don't stay there so you got the eight of swords you got the nine of pentacles and you have the magician <clears throat> and then you have the knight of earth on top of the knight of earth paying attention got a routine down there comes the dreamer which is about a new beginning a fresh new start taking the leap of faith it's totally up to you you know only you can make decisions only you can make decisions concerning your life okay no one else can and always remember these cards can change they're not etched in stone but there's a new beginning on the horizon here you got the nine of wands here. The nine of wands is about you being resilient. That no matter what happens in life, that you can overcome it. You're Aries. And you got the three of cups. And the three of cups is about celebration. So no matter what's going on, you remember life comes with ups and downs. There's something coming in that's going to bring in some happiness for you. Reason for you to celebrate. You have the dreamer. You have the nine of wands. And you have the Three of Cups. I thought I said that wrong. <laughs> and then you have the Two of Cups again. Now, this is this attraction from the past here, too. Huh? I don't know. We'll see. We got the Five of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Pentacles. And then we got the Balance card. So, <clears throat> this love story, whatever took place here, whatever betrayal happened, whatever it was, seems like there was some type of forgiveness okay but you're still feeling lack i have the five of pentacles which is the mindset of lack it will pass forgive yourself and forgive whoever else it was okay and let it go forgiveness is for self don't be carrying around all a heavy load you got the eight of pentacles here you're learning all you can about the situation. Maybe, maybe you do. You got some detective skills or something, but you're paying attention to the, to it. You know, maybe you need to back up a little bit. You already know the truth. Okay, you already know the truth. You're gonna find some balance. We got the five of pentacles. We got the eight of pentacles, and we have the balance card. You're gonna find the balance. Okay. And we got the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is about you using your intuition. There you go. You you having a lot of... You having some emotions going on here. You're thinking about ending things. You're thinking about it seriously. On top of the High Priestess, which is about you using your intuition. Like I say, only you can make up your mind about what you need to do about your situation. Now, if, it, if the situation is abusive in any way, I mean, please take care of you. Don't be, don't, don't hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Look after you, and if you have children involved, look, at, look after your children, you know? Um, but I got the emperor here, and the emperor is Aries as well. It's about stability and being logical, so take a moment and think about things. Don't just... You know overthink things i got the nine of swords which is telling me that you're expecting the worst possible outcome of this situation for you to happen for you 
Okay, stop doing that to yourself. It's called self-fulfilling prophecy. All right, babies? Don't worry about it. Whatever happens was meant to happen. This was the journey that you chose. All right? As tough as it seems, this is the journey that we all choose. You know, the thing about it is to learn. We need to learn from these instances in our lives. You got the Emperor. You got the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is about worry and self-fulfilling prophecy. Stop doing that to yourself. Remember, before anything becomes physical, it got to be created up in here, right? So, watch your thoughts. Watch your words. All right, babies, I'm learning it too. So, we're going to learn together. But whatever seems to be going on here, it seems like it's an ending. You know, I mean, it seems like it's going to be an ending here. We got the Emperor, we got the Nine of Swords, and we have the Ten of Swords. Then on top of it, there's going to be an ending. There's going to be an ending. And the reason for the ending is that water energy. That Pisces, that Cancer, that Scorpio. There's going to be an ending. There's going to be something more going to be revealed to you. Okay, please take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, babies, not all these messages will be meant for you. But I'm letting you know this. There's going to be an ending. We got the release card. The release card is definitely an ending. But remember this, as painful as endings are, it's making room for new beginnings. All right? It's always making room for new beginnings. Don't lose hope. Process the sadness, process the emotion that comes with things, that comes with endings. Pick up the pieces. Learn the lesson that you were supposed to learn. Remember, a, season, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Okay? Sometimes that reason is to teach us something. Learn it. So you got the release card. There's going to be some more revelations, and it's going to be in regards to this water energy. The release card, the moon, and the king of cups, which is a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. It's going to cause you to be in your head. It's going to cause some conflict. And this seems to be coming in pretty fast if it hasn't already come in for you. But you're very deep in your head, but there's a way out. There is a way out. The Four of Cups is about you being so deep in your head that you're not seeing that opportunity that's right in front of you. There's a way out. Trust yourself. Don't get sucked into the anger or the conflict, you know. I know it's not, I know, I know, I know, I know. Believe me, I know what a struggle it is not to argue back, you know. But just do the best that you can. All right, babies? Strive to be the best version of you. Set it with integrity. Trust you. All right? But something is coming in pretty fast. You are in your head. You got the Four of Cups. We got some conflict here. The Five of Swords. And then we have the Chariot. <clears throat> and then it seems like things, you know, you overcame whatever it was that was revealed. I don't know. It doesn't say... <laughs> It's going to be a fresh new start with this earth energy here. The earth energy seems to be the mo the major player, okay? A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn here. Um, this water energy did come in and cause some kind of turmoil. I do see that you guys will overcome it. It takes two, okay? It takes two to overcome things. All right, two. If you're willing, anything can work. This um, energy is extremely successful here. This energy knows about money, knows how to handle money and take care of the business. This energy, <laughs> this energy uh, it was a very good investment, so to speak, but it wasn't an investment. It was an investment of your heart. It was, in, it was like y'all came together and made something, you know what I mean? So I see, I don't know, I, f I feel there's a fresh new start here. You got the wheel, you got the queen of... Um, pentacles and you got the seven of pentacles I see that there might be there's going to be some communication and mental clarity here I say things will work out no matter what there might be a little bump in the road or two or some major bumps in the road once there's communication you can overcome anything all right darlings I love you dearly and we definitely will chat soon